What's up guys, welcome back to the videos. Since this is what, like day like seven? No, day yeah. seven in the quarantine, I thought we would do a Q&A. I can't really do much, we can't go anywhere or have any fun, and John from Entice is actually sick right now. Uh, he texts me, he's sick. So I definitely can't start on the GTR build just yet, so yeah, we're waiting on that. So I thought today, we haven't done a Q&A in a very, very long time, so me and Tiana are gonna do a kind of like couples Q&A, and we asked you guys for questions on Instagram, told you guys to make it fun and ask us some cool questions. So, today's video is all about, there's not, not a topic. <laughs> I don't know, everything. Uh... Let's start and we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun. Well, that one, everyone's asking. Okay. We have a thousand okay. questions about the Z. Oh my God, people, how? I feel like I'm being harassed. I get DMs, <laughs> I get comments. We'll answer at the end. You guys have to wait for this because you have asked nonstop and I've literally said it a billion times. So if you want to see what happened or what's up with the Z, wait till the end. That's going to be like our last question. Oh, that's a good one. Which one? How is my Japanese going? And it was good for a while and I kind of fell off of it. And especially like right now, it's the perfect time to start learning something new, especially for all of you if you're bored at home. I would suggest like maybe taking a class or something like that because if you're going to be at home, you might as well, right? So um, it was good and I just need to get back onto it. I was actually learning a good bit from studying the Japanese. So uh, I go back in September. You will, you will. I think so, September, good vibes yeah, out. September is gonna be okay. So I go back in September for three weeks. So I definitely wanna brush up on that and just like at least be able to make like basic sentences and like understand stuff. But am I ever gonna get an R33? I think that's, that's on the list. I feel like you just have to at this point. So the plan for the 33, I want to have all of them obviously, 32, 33, 34, and then the R35. Each one one, I want to have built differently and like a different stage. So like the 32 is gonna be a track monster car. It's gonna be so sick whenever we get done doing custom turbo build and everything. And then our finale is gonna be really exciting. The 33, I want to be more of like a stance car. I haven't built a stance car in a very long time. The last one I did was the WRX and I wanna build another car like that. And I think, not that I hate it, but it's my least favorite out of the Skyline generation. So I feel like that one would best be built in like a stance car kind of way. So we're gonna do that. Oh, okay, this is a good one for us. Okay. What is our favorite memory and favorite memory car wise with each other? What's your favorite memory that you have with me and then what's your favorite car memory that you have with me? Oh my gosh. Okay, favorite car memory that's easy, getting the Z. When you surprised me with the Z on Valentine's Day. That, that one was, was easy. That was good. Um, okay, favorite memory with you. Thailand? Pick Thailand. One. Yeah, pick one. Well, Thailand could just be a whole memory. It's like okay. a week's worth of memories. Okay. Thailand or Big Sur. It's always when we travel. Like those are my favorite things. Yeah, we love the travel with one. You. I like it because you guys really like the travel videos mm -hmm. too, which is super cool. I think my favorite car memory is the day that I picked up the R32 and we went and had dinner. And we took that picture of us sitting in the parking oh, lot. Oh, we did. We sat on the concrete. I remember that. that was, that's my favorite car memory. Put that pic. Thing. I, can, I think I can find it. You can it. find it. It'll be on the screen somewhere. And then our favorite, my favorite memory together is probably when we climbed that super sketchy rock mountain thing in the middle of nowhere in Thailand, which we really shouldn't have done. No ropes, like it was it was very scary. Legitimately like mountain climbing with no, we were in flip flops yeah. with like no, it was looking back something where you need to be an adult and be like, this isn't a safe situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh, I like this one. I, uh, someone says, I think you said you were 15 or 16 when you started fitness. Do you have any physique photos? I don't have a physique you photo. You guys need to see <laughs> teenage Dustin. I don't have a physique photo, but I do have a picture of me when I was that old when I started lifting. I was this big. I was literally a stick. <laughs> If I had to get rid of all of my cars and keep one, which would it be? The R34. Oh, I was gonna guess that already. Hands down, That's the R34. Easy. Okay, but if you had to choose any of my cars, what would it be? If I had to get rid of all of them and I could only keep one for us, which one would it be? 
be the R34. Really? Yeah. Over the Z? I guess the Z, the Z is your The Z is mine, that yeah. doesn't count. Yeah. So yeah, the 34. It's unexplainable the difference of enthusiasm I have when I'm in Japan with that car versus here. It's like, you guys. I'm just, a, I'm in a different world. Which I'm sure you guys can tell from the Japan videos, like it's just, I have the most fun while I'm there. Literally doing anything is exciting to me. Park, you parking can be my car. in the bathroom and be like, this is the coolest. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's insane. And if you guys have ever thought of traveling to Japan, I definitely recommend it. It's seriously my favorite place in the whole world. Okay, do I have any plans for future exotic cars? I'm not really an exotic kind of guy. I think if I had to choose one, which is on my vision board actually, it would be the McLaren 570S. That is like my goal exotic car, but it's not something that like I, I like push myself to have because it's just not it's just not like what I really am into. I really like just the old 90s Japanese cars. I don't know why, but like that's what I really want to own. Like I have so many yeah, other- Yeah, like those J are your- I have so many other JDM cars that I want that like the supercar isn't like on my radar currently, but if the time comes, the time comes. You know, if I find something good, then you know, I know, I, I don't know. But I would love the 570S. Like McLarens are my favorite exotic cars. And if I had to own one, it would be the 570S. What has been the most fun experience working on a car? Definitely the Varus GTR build. I think locking myself in my garage for a week straight from 9 a.m. until like midnight every single day, get that kit finished was my favorite thing ever. Like that's something that I've worked so hard for, the car and the kit, and to like actually do it by myself in my garage was just such a rewarding feeling. So I think that was my favorite memory. A lot of you guys want to know what the next project car is going to be. Um, so obviously I still have the R32 build series that's going to happen. I still have the 280Z build series that's going to happen. But if you guys have been watching the videos for a while, I've put subtle hints as to what I'm currently looking for. And I've been working on something for a very long time and working with uh, a company straight from Japan actually to help on this build. So I don't want to say it just yet until it's like 100% confirmed, but I have something very, very cool that me and Tiana have both wanted for a very long time. So I can't say it just yet, but I do have another project coming down the road once we actually finish like all the projects that we have now. Mm, that's a good one. Okay, lots of wedding questions and stuff on here. Cause if you guys don't know, we are having our wedding this, this summer. And this question is, are you guys having to postpone your wedding? We're trying not to think about it because that would really, really suck. We were like almost done planning it and to have that like thrown out the window and having to like restart would just- <laughs> I'm not listening. I'm not listening. And she would not be- Oh listening. my gosh. But hope not. no, as of right now, we haven't had to. It really couldn't be any closer. <laughs> like I'm sweating. I don't- it's just, uh, I don't know. And same with the honeymoon too. It doesn't like just, I don't know, it affects a lot of things. Yeah. I had to cancel my bridal shower. You might have to cancel your bachelor trip. I already had to cancel my bachelor trip. It's not even getting the same thing. Oh, okay. I guess it's <laughs> done. I don't know. So there's that, but hopefully not. Thanks for asking. <laughs> what would you do if you couldn't do YouTube? She hates this, but before I was, before I actually did YouTube full time in school, in college, and I actually went for criminal justice and I was gonna be a police officer until like the whole YouTube thing happened and I kind of just full time YouTube and you know, building cars, doing the fitness thing and everything like that. So uh, if I, which I still wanna do, even if I like stop doing YouTube, I would do, I would be a police officer or work in some sort of law enforcement job. Um, it's something that I lived with my whole life. And so it's kind of something that just has always interested me and I've always had a passion for. So it could still very much happen. I just, yeah. He's just safer in this <laughs> bubble at home and in a garage. He's yeah. much safer. Yeah, but I still want to do it. I work for an investment firm. A lot of you think that she just works for me. <laughs> I she just hang out. She does not work for me or just hang out. She actually has a real job. She deals with money. <laughs> That's all you guys get to know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a good question. Huh, I just saw that. What's your favorite car that you don't want to own? Is that, is that even a thing? Do I have it? Well, yeah, think about it. If it's like such a favorite. breaks down a lot or a pain in the butt to deal with or super expensive, like what's one you want, but you're like, ugh. An RX-7. Really? I love RX-7s, but I never want to own one. Why? Because they're the engines are just unless you build it the right way, like TJ or Mickey, like those engines are just not good. Oh. And you have to like use pre-mix and it's like a whole mess. Like the car's amazing and I'd love to actually build one, but I don't want the baggage that comes with having a rotary. Yeah, that's that actually, is a that's question, a good, that's, that's a, good a good question. question. Oh, here's one for us. Who said I love you first? 
and thanks for keeping me entertained. Oh, I did. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, we went, what was it, Valentine's Day? And we went to the zoo was because, it? yes. Okay. <laughs> because Dustin loves the zoo. The zoo's my favorite place. Like, loves the zoo, you guys. So we went to the zoo for Valentine's Day, whatever. And then this is when we were still living, we weren't living together. So I was like 45 minutes away. You know how you can like tell that someone wants to say it, but they just like won't? So that had been going on for a while. Xiao was a, an adult. All right, I didn't know how to act. What? <laughs> She was older than me and if you ever dated somebody that's older than you and is obviously more mature than you It's very intimidating. Oh my gosh. No, what? I was like 21. I was only 23. You act like I'm like 37 <laughs> Like I were only two years apart. I Anyways, just was it was intimidating had a big girl job and a big girl life and lived on my own and whatever I was a normal anyway. and so we went to the zoo, we got back, and I got in my car to leave and drive home, and Dustin was crossing the street to go back into his apartment, and I rolled down my window and yelled. I love you, like yelled it across the freaking street because I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, this <laughs> has gone on long enough. Like, I know you're trying to say it, but you can't say it, so I'll just say it. it and great. so I yelled it across the street. It was great, what a good story. <laughs> what a good story. Why have you strayed away from buying the Mark V Super or the C8? I don't like either one of them. I mean, let me rephrase that. I like those cars, but I, I could care less about owning a C8 or a Mark V Super. I'm not like a super fanatic, and I'm also not Corvette fanatic. I, like I said before, I own an old stinky Japanese car, then have <laughs> have a new C8 or a Mark V. Granted, they are amazing cars. Like I've yeah, read, super cool. I've ridden in and seen both of TJ's, and they're just like they're absolutely insane. I think having all the gadgets and everything that those cars come mm -hmm. with is just so nice. But I just I don't know. I don't. It's, it's not where your passion lies. Yeah, I don't know why. I just like stinky Japanese cars. It's never gonna stop. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> pizza or wings? I'm a thousand percent a pizza guy. Oh gosh. Come on, you have five seconds. Five, four, three, I two, meet wings. One. I think wings. I don't know. Wow. Flats dipped in ranch. Maybe this is why we worked so well together. I, yeah, I don't I'm know. a pizza guy, but I can also have. That's pizza what I'm saying. Like I love pizza. Too. Don't get me wrong, but some like real good chicken wings. Am I going to do more tracking in the future? Most definitely. So the whole idea for the R32 GTR build is for me to learn how to actually road race on like an actual road track. So like doing time attack, things like that is something that I really want to get into. Drifting is fun and all, but I think my tracking passion more lies in technical driving, like on a time attack track or road course, something like that. So that's the whole purpose of the R32 build. Oh, okay, should we tell people how we met? So this one has been asked a few times. It's how did me and Tiana meet? And a lot of you guys always ask that, especially when we do like car shows and stuff. You guys always want to know how we met. I actually met Tiana in a parking lot of a restaurant because I was filming a car rally in Laguna Beach and she was going on a hike and she happened to park in the same lot that we were all met up in to like move to the next spot. I saw her, we started talking, and then we went on a date. Yeah. Pretty cool. Met the old fashioned way. Yeah. Okay, this one is, what's some advice on a long-term relationship and how to keep a girl happy? How to keep a girl <laughs> happy? Impossible. Trick question. Shut up. <laughs> it is literally the easiest thing. Just be honest. Be honest, communicate. That is how I feel like a lot of fights or tension or whatever is from either not communicating or miscommunication. If you're communicating well and on the same level, then there won't be any problems. It's but true. you have to like actively communicate. It's true. Damn it, I wish we had some cheese balls. What? This person said, how many cheese balls can you guys fit in your mouth? I could fit more for sure. You do have a big mouth. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. It's relevant. So how is COVID-19 affecting you? We're actually being really good and we're like not leaving. We're literally only leaving to go to the grocery store. Which um, we do go to a lot because I eat a lot. Yes. Or like I went on a run today for like 15 minutes. That's really it. Um, I've taken the time to clean and like organize things like in the kitchen. Go through our clothes and donate some things work on like honestly business things that, I don't know, I guess like things you just haven't gotten to that you've kind of mm -hmm. put off, but 
we're it's a good to, time to like work on yourself. Yeah, we're trying to use it productively and not just like sitting. Don't get me wrong, like we watch movies and TV shows because we're here, but not just trying to like binge watch, really try to, I think that's what's gonna set a lot of people apart in a time like this is when you have to be like quarantined for a month, there's gonna be one set of people that just take it as laying around mm -hmm. and being lazy. And then the other set of people with a whole different mindset are gonna be like, this is the time I can get ahead. That's the mindset that we're trying to keep this entire like four weeks is working on ourselves, the businesses, things like that. So, although it does suck because it's canceled yeah, it trips. Suck. I mean, I, I had so many things, like I had my bachelor party, we had a car show plan, we had Tiana's birthday plan, like everything is canceled and it sucks. My right? bridal shower. Yeah, so it depends on how you look at it. You can either be very negative about the whole situation or you can try and make the best of it. And like I said earlier, work on yourself you know, learn something new, learn how to cook maybe, or like start eating a little bit healthier since you're at home. Yeah. Or learn some at home workouts, stuff like that. It's like, this is the perfect time. Why don't you keep the R34 in the US as a show car? So the car, my R34 cannot be imported under the show and display law because it is not a special edition. The only ones that are able to do that are Midnight Purple 2 cars. Uh, if you guys don't know, Midnight Purple 2 was the first technological advance in color shifting paint, which is why those are allowed in as a show and display. You can only drive them like 300 miles a year, something like that. Um, and my car is just a regular 1999 Skyline R34 GTR, so it's not eligible for import, but that's not the point of the car either way. The point of the car <clears throat> is to show you guys what it's really like to have a car in Japan and get it built with the, the culture behind what we all love. Everybody says they love JDM cars, but only very few people can actually get to see what it's like and that where all of that originated. So that's kind of the goal for me to show you that through the four years uh, traveling there two or three times a year to kind of capture that content and really get it built at an OG Japanese shop. Is Tiana ever gonna let you get a Corgi? Oh my gosh, everyone. First of all, again, harassment. The amount of DMs of pictures of corgis that I get from people are unreal. The answer is yes, we want a dog. I want a dog so bad. But that being said- Now's the perfect time. <laughs> once the coronavirus, all of our travels back on the schedule. Yeah. So that being said, couple things here. One, this is the busiest year for the both of us. So we're traveling like crazy, which isn't fair to do to a little pup. And two, we live on the top floor in an apartment complex. I don't know. I just, I've always grown up with the ease of having like a house and a doggy door in a backyard for the dog to go run out and play in. Mm -hmm. And it's just easier, honestly. Yeah, they, so uh, we, we have like a two square foot yeah. balcony. So like it's, it's not the ideal situation. Once me and Tiana like can move into a house or something like that, it'll be a lot easier than being on like a top floor of an apartment complex, yeah. you know, so. And we want two dogs. Oh, this is a good one. So. I love zombie movies. Yeah, we know. I fantasize about the zombie apocalypse. We know. Uh, if a zombie apocalypse ever happens, what car would be the zombie slayer? Oh, guys, we talked about this the other day. Yeah, but it has to be a car. It can't be the truck or the Jeep. What do you mean? It has oh. to be a car. I oh, think one of yours? If, if it was running right now, the BRZ would be the ultimate zombie slayer car. Really? Fully caged. It is like okay, it that's is a, good it is a point. machine. That car would run over anything. If the car had an engine in it, that would be the ultimate. Like, I've got a front bash bar, rear bash bar, full cage on the inside. That thing is ready for the apocalypse. It would have been if I didn't blow the engine. Kind of my car lock, but it's fine. It's okay. And but if it didn't have to be a car, we literally just talked about how we have because we fantasize about zombie apocalypse <laughs> and how to handle them. My monster truck and Tiana's Jeep, we would have the ultimate zombie apocalypse combo right yes. there. What is the top tip to stay in shape for the weeks of quarantine? Ooh. Definitely learn about your nutrition. I keep saying this in this video, but take the time to learn about yourself and like learn about macros, learn how to cook healthier meals, like just take care of yourself. This is the perfect time. If you're new to the gym or you're new 
deal to nutrition or anything like that, take this time, watch some YouTube videos, read online. Like it's, there's tons of information out there. All you have to do is just take the time and learn. I promise. And it's, it'll, it'll transition you into whenever everything goes back to normal. You're still going to want to eat healthy and you're still going to want to exercise. Yeah. And like this time, instead of just sitting on the couch watching Netflix, do an at-home workout or cook a healthier meal than making some pizza rolls and some, <laughs> some chicken nuggets, you know, like have some real food. And yes, it's hard to find real food right now, but I promise you, you take, can the, make it happen. take the time and you can make it happen. Because I'm, me, we're both doing it right now. And I think one thing too is like, don't be in your comfy clothes all day and try to work out in your like home clothes. Like put on workout clothes if you're gonna work out at home. Put shoes on. Play the part. Yeah, play the part. That's what's gonna get your energy up and going and or even go out on your balcony and do like squats or something. What was it about each other that caught your eye at first? This is good. Johnny and Mike. That is not true! I just like I don't know. It's not that I didn't like you. Just like dating wise, I'm just like whatever about it. Like I don't, I think, okay, well obviously what I first noticed about him were all of his tattoos. That's what I noticed about you. Came over in his little t-shirt <laughs> with his hat backwards and his tattoos. Sweating? I'm kidding, yeah, do you, do you hear me like breathing hard over here? I don't, that's like, that's what I noticed first about you. I don't know, I saw a girl in, a, in workout clothes and I liked it, so. That's that's the story. There we go. It's actually it's it's Zach's fault. And then Tiana tagged me in her Instagram story. No, 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 no. I was minding my own business. I had my Insta I was filming an Instagram story of all the cool cars to put on my story. Dustin came up, took the phone out of my hands without asking. I didn't know him. Took my phone, tagged himself in it, posted it, then handed it back so he had my Instagram. Power move. You you DM me though. Not true. All I did was put put the the cool the cool glasses. You did you did. That's he just responded. All I did. It's all I didn't even I didn't even say a word to her. <laughs> what did I say back? I have it screenshotted when, somewhere. When, when are you coming back to OC? I did not say yes, that. Yes, you did. Look it up. <laughs> I did not. I was probably like, hey, see you later. <laughs> but we're getting married now. Well, you one. did. You put the cool boy glasses, the emoji with the sunglasses. Literally took the phone out of my hands to tag himself in it. Power move. <sighs> who has more clothes and who has a bad shopping habit? <laughs> oh, let me tell you. She has more clothes. Every time I go away for work, go to travel, whatever, I come back and this man has a new pair of shoes or a new Godzilla statue thing or a new backpack. He shops when I'm not home and then uh, doesn't say anything until I notice it. She has more clothes though, so it, it, it equals it out, it's fine. I like things, all right? It's not that yes, I- Yes, he loves things. I just like, there's not something specific that I like, I just like having things, so. Oh, gosh. And I, I see something I like, I'm like, oh, you know. And he has to justify it too. Like he has like four Godzilla statues and he's like, yeah, well I need a specific one for the 32, specific one for the 34, and a specific one for the 35 to right. take pictures with. It makes sense, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> Am I ever gonna do a powerlifting meet? I really, really, really wanna do a powerlifting meet, but uh, it's just a completely different type of training than what I do to compete in bodybuilding. So right now, um, it's kind of one or the other. I don't want to take time away from training for a bodybuilding competition to completely swap over to a powerlifting meet. So eventually I'd like to do one once I'm done competing on stage as a bodybuilder. I'd like to transition into powerlifting because I really do enjoy that. And I used to do it until I tore my bicep and that kind of like set everything back, obviously. Uh, and that's what got me back into bodybuilding. But I do see myself stopping bodybuilding and actually transitioning into powerlifting eventually. Will I ever do a fitness challenge? I have so you many, I have so many ideas. I literally have, I have a journal that I like write down all like my stuff for the day and like ideas for videos. I literally have like two full pages every line filled yeah. with like challenge ideas. Like I'm so stoked to give you guys challenge videos. It's gonna be amazing. Best low carb meal. So I'll give Celery. you this. this <laughs> what? <laughs> Best low carb meal. I would say go to Walmart or go to any grocery store, go to the frozen vegetable section, find either riced broccoli or riced cauliflower, and then get some grilled chicken, mix it all together with some soy sauce, and it's literally like just hibachi. It's like probably like five That's carbs. Uh, and the 
the rice cauliflower or the rice broccoli will kind of fill you up like a carb. It's a fibrous carb, so it's not starch, so it's not the same, but it still tastes really good and it will satisfy you and that's one of my favorite meals right now. Have you ever doubted yourself with your business, cars, etc.? I think everybody goes through this. Everything with a business or a YouTube channel or even with everyday work is an up and downhill battle. You're gonna have days where you feel like you absolutely suck and then you're gonna have days where you feel like you're absolutely killing it and I think it's completely normal to doubt yourself and think that you're not gonna be able to accomplish something when really you're just like right on the cusp of knocking it out of the park. So uh, there's definitely times when I thought Legends wasn't gonna be successful or when I thought this YouTube channel wasn't gonna make it. Even right now, I feel kind of crappy because like I love the fitness videos and even though the fitness videos don't get you know high views like my automotive stuff does, like it's still something that I really, really enjoy and I need to get past looking at the numbers and just think about how it makes me feel to actually enjoy making videos about fitness and making food, eating food, like it's just something that I enjoy and I think it's a good example to not quit because even though the numbers aren't there, I still really enjoy doing it. And I think that's the one thing that you have to remember is that you do it because you enjoy it and that you truly love it and you don't do it for all of the numbers and the accessories that come with that. All of that comes after, after your hard work with doing something that you actually really love. Last question, where's the 280Z? Do you want to answer this one since this is your car? That's a great question. Was, what is, is it still in the it's, tank? It's still at the body shop. It's... The car was supposed to be done two months ago. Yes. Obviously it was delayed, not because of the virus, because of the body shop, but I think that the car is finished now. I have been in touch with the painter a couple weeks ago and he actually sent me a picture of the car painted. I don't know if they've finished clearing it and putting everything back together yet, but the car is officially painted. I haven't shown Tiana and I was gonna show you guys in the video, but Tiana would see it and I just want it to be a surprise. The car is finished being painted, but obviously we're not able to take it home yet. We still have to build the L28 engine, find suspension, do the interior, so like this is a full a restoration what you guys don't understand it's not like taking my GTR to the body shop getting it painted this car had rust spots and needed body work like this is a lot more than just taking a car for a respray this is a full-on restoration from a rust bucket of metal what's gonna be like a seriously badass car so this is a slow and steady project it's more of a passion project than it is a build series I think at this point at first I thought it was gonna be a build series but it just needed a lot more work it has a lot of baggage yeah. it has a lot of baggage yeah. that we didn't know about so we're taking it day by day like I said it's a passion project and it's Tiana's dream car it's my first car that I was able to buy for her and it's a special car for the both of us that I think we'll always have so instead of rushing it and and, you know trying to hit crazy deadlines I think it's better to take our time with the car and actually figure out and knock out all the problems that it will have and just make it an, like a really really nice car which we're doing so update on the Z it's at the body shop pretty sure it's finished being painted and you guys will see that soon as soon as all of this is all of this is done the body shop is currently closed down due to the virus so we can't even go yeah check it out right now but I promise you guys still here still going <sighs> mad breath there's a lot so quick update, um, we're still here, we're locked in quarantine. The GTR build starts the, hopefully the next week. Hopefully everything goes as planned, it should start next week. The Legends drop is this Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if you guys want the new active wear. You guys saw it at the beginning of the video, but that does drop this Friday, so be sure to set your alarms and market calendars for that. Am I forgetting anything? Um, what about 35 update? They don't get to see that yet. Oh. Anything else? Can you think of anything? Uh, nope. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our quarantine Q&A. <laughs> if you guys have any more questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. And if you stayed this long, please like the video and subscribe. If you stayed this long, you obviously enjoy us. So why not just give us a little bit more support and click the two buttons down there. We would really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.